Hello, this is an exam question from the coast section of the Geography GCSE. The question is asking you to explain the formation of a stack. Now already you'll see that I've underlined some of the key command words and the key signpost words that you need to refer to in your exam question. Being as this question is four marks, it's going to need you to try and reach for level two. So that would be clear three to four marks. And as we go through this question, I'll explain what you need to do to hit that overall goal, because that's where we all want to be. So you can clearly see already the command word, which I've underlined here, is asking you to explain. So that's not just describing the key sequences of how a stack is formed. You have to explain why it is formed over time. So what are the key processes at work that form that stack? And like I've just mentioned in that sentence, we're talking about the formation of a stack. So how is it formed? We're not talking about any impacts of it, just how it's formed over time. And again, we need to understand what a stack is. So before I go into thinking about that, what is this question asking us? Well, again, recap and we need to explain. So clear sequence, we need to be explaining using potentially connectives, but this is a sequence question, so really we're looking at what are the causes, how is this formed, why is it formed. And also, if you want to hit that level two, so three to four marks, geographical terminology needs to be used throughout. So rather than just saying a crack is worn away or a cave is worn away, you need to say what erosional processes are causing it to wear away. So for example, if we look at this diagram that I've drawn here, very simple, you've got first of all, we know that this is going to start with a crack in the headland. That would only be if you're identifying the different types of features before we get a stack, that would only be one to two marks. So a crack, cave, arch and stack. But if you can say why they're formed consistently throughout this question, then you're going to be aiming for that level two. So if we start with a crack, a crack is formed through the action of hydraulic action which attacks the weakness in the chalk headland which causes the crack. Already if you consistently use sentence such as that where we're explaining how it's formed you're going to be clearly going for those four marks. So let's start this off. So being as this is a levelled question we want to make sure we've got a case study example in there straight away. So we are going to go with Old Harry in Dorset. So Old Harry is a C stack located in Dorset. So not only have I named the example, I've said where it is as well to make sure we're really going for those full marks. So this stack is made of the resistant rock called chalk. So again, we're being really specific here. We're not just saying resistant rock. We're giving examples which is going to push us into that level too. A stack is formed So I'm going to start at the very beginning here. So we're going to talk about our chalk. So our chalk crack. So when hydraulic action, so one of your types of erosion, and abrasion, so not only are we naming one, we're getting two in there, showing the examiner we know what we're talking about. Attack weaknesses in the chalk headland. These cracks enlarge. over time to create caves. So we're already outlining that key sequence. So we've gone from our 
cracks to our caves. Right, further abrasion. Quarries through the cave to form an arch. So as you can see, using consistent erosional processes throughout, not just saying eroded, saying abrasion, hydraulic action, to ensure we're on for those higher marks. So following this, we've said that it forms our arch. Weathering processes. such as acid rain because remember it's not just erosion that wears down and, ero and erodes the rock and freeze fall attack the top of the arch Following this, marine erosion, so focusing on the ocean, the sea again, continues to erode the bottom of the arch. Eventually, so we're getting towards the end now, gravity will cause the arch to collapse, leaving behind a stack of rock and then we're going to end with the way we started with our case study, like old Harry. So that's our question. We've gained our four marks there. So if I talk you through very quickly how we gain those to see how do we hit that level two. Well, if I'm looking through this already, seeing a case study straight away shows the examiner that we're trying to push for that higher level, level two. You know what a stack is. You know an example of one. So if I was to break down the marks here, this stack is made of less resist or is made of resistant rock called chalk. There's already examples here. A stack is formed when hydraulic action and abrasion attack weaknesses in the chalk headland. One mark. So I'm definitely gonna put a tick there to show that there's a mark there. These cracks enlarge over time to create caves. Further abrasion quarries through the cave to form an arch. So there's a clear explanation saying that it's abrasion causing a cave to form an arch because it's quarrying through the rock. It's not just saying this goes from a cave to an arch. There's clear explanation there. Weathering processes such as acid rain and freeze fall attack the top of the arch. So third mark because we are definitely talking about not just erosion. We've talked about how weathering processes attack the top of the arch. And then... Finally, we've talked about how marine erosion continued to erode the bottom of the arch before gravity causes the arch to collapse, leaving behind a stack like old Harry. Four marks. You can clearly see throughout that that this answer is hitting level two because of the clear sequence. There's four key stages here. We've got the crack, we've got the cave, the arch and the stack. And they're clearly using geographical terminology throughout this answer. We're using hydraulic action, abrasion, the weathering processes. It's all in there. If we want to be hitting that level two, those are the things we need to cover.